explain boiler feed water and give its specifications. Generally, boilers are used in industries to generate steam, which in turn is used to generate power and heat. Thus, boiler is a device for generating steam. It consists of two main parts, furnace and boiler proper. Furnace provides heat by burning the fuel. And boiler proper is a device where water changes into steam due to heat. This steam or hot fluid is then recirculated out of the boiler to be used in various processes in heating applications. The water which is fed into the boiler is called the boiler feed water. These days, modern boilers require high quality water to operate efficiently. But such water can never be obtained from any of the natural sources as it contains certain impurities. The presence of impurities in the water makes it unfit for use in the boilers. So to make the water fit for use in boilers, it should be pre-treated using various techniques. Thus we can say that boiler feed water is specially conditioned water which is fed into the boiler to generate steam or hot water. It is generated through a system of heat economy. Steam produced in the boiler is condensed after use and is returned as pure feed water called the return water. Then some fresh water or makeup water is added to this return water. It is this combination of return water and makeup water which is fed into the boiler. as the boiler feed water to generate steam. Note that boiler feed water depends upon the quality of the makeup water and the amount of condensate returned to the boiler. Sometimes we see that some impurities settle down at the bottom of the boiler after the steam is produced. We know that steam which escapes from the boiler normally contains liquid droplets and gases. So the remaining water at the bottom of the boiler might pick up all the foreign matter from the water that was converted to steam. This results in the accumulation of impurities at the bottom of the boiler. These impurities can be removed by discharging some water from the boiler to the drain. Such process of blowing the impurities from the boiler to the drain is called blowdown operation. In order to operate and maintain a boiler system efficiently, it is important to treat the boiler feed water properly. This is because when steam is produced, the dissolved solids become concentrated and form deposits inside the boiler. This leads to poor heat transfer and reduces the efficiency of the boiler. Also, the dissolved gas such as oxygen and carbon dioxide react with the metals in the boiler system and this leads to boiler corrosion. Thus, to protect the boiler from such contaminants, the boiler feed water should be treated properly through external or internal treatment. Let us now discuss the specifications of boiler feed water. Before using the boiler feed water in the boiler, it should be made sure that it meets the following specifications. Its hardness should be below 0.2 parts per million. Its caustic alkalinity should be between 0.15 and 0.45 parts per million. Its soda alkalinity should be between 0.45 and 1 parts per million. It should be free from turbidity and sediments. And it should be free from organic matter, oil and grease to avoid foaming. Note that in thermal power stations, feed water is usually stored, preheated and conditioned in the feed water tank and then forwarded into the boiler through the boiler feed water pump. Related terms are